Hello, Mr. Smiley. You've been charged with unlawful possession of a weapon on school property. Um, we're going to enter a plea of not guilty for you to that charge. Are you able to hire your own attorney, or will you be needing the services of a public defender? Greg Sims. You think Mr. Sims is coming today? Not sure. Have you spoken to him? Uh, yes, I reached out to him and said he was going to you know, check on him and stuff. Uh, Tied up on some others, but. Oh, sure. But if he's going to come today, if you think he's coming today, we will wait for him at least until we're finished with well, the rest of the people. Otherwise, I don't know at this point. are you, did you talk to him about whether or not you're actually hiring him? Are you intending to hire him? Yes. Okay. Um, then I'm going to let you hire your own attorney. Let me read this real quick, please. Judge, I'll be asking Mr. Smiley to sign a written backfire order directing to have no guns during the pendency of the case. Additionally, I'll be asking him to sign a written no contact order with. Uh, all JCPS property, uh, specifically the Van Hoos Center, but no contact with any JCPS property um, and the employees or staff. The county wishes to give it a bond. Your Honor, based on the allegations, it is the county's motion to increase the bond to 100000 full cash. county's position is that um, the facts and circumstances as alleged in the, um, uh, in the complaint indicated potential danger to um, the staff and faculty and all of JCPS. Uh, this is an allegation that I believe that after a um, disciplinary action, possibly the week before, uh, Mr. Smiley went to the Van Hoose Education Center and was attempting to file some paperwork. He was turned away, and at that point in time, he went and got a gun out of his car, so he had a gun at the Van Hoose Education Center. It was also extremely concerning. He was making postings to Facebook Live. Um, during the course of this incident, um, I can tell you that uh, we received communication overnight from uh, LMPD. Uh, the staff and faculty at Fraser Elementary are extremely concerned about this. Um, they are certainly very concerned about the Facebook Live postings um, that, let me see, I think I have some of those here. Um, where he makes remarks about the gun, um, injustice everywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Um, he, I know that part of this he's saying he's there protesting, but certainly in this day and age, um, that is very alarming to the staff at the school. Um, and certainly the county's position is that the way to protest something is not to have a gun and be making postings on Facebook Live about um, that your gun is what brings justice. Additionally, in the citation, um, the police officers stated that in his Facebook Live videos, he said that he would make them pay, that he would make them hate him, and that he also told the officers that they better start some cars to Fraser Elementary School. Yeah, I don't, you shouldn't say anything to us. You should talk to Mr. Sims about this, and he's more than welcome to advance this case from the 10 day date to make any necessary bond motions. But at this time, in the interest of the protection of the community, I am going to set the bond at 100,000 full cash per Ms. Southern's request. Um, and certainly, I think additional information can be hashed out at a later date, okay? Sorry, what what is the violation? I don't have any convictions. I agree with you. Well, that's not true. You do 
your, your, your criminal history shows that you do have prior convictions for certain things. But, but things that are like this. I understand that. this way, we to be to that magnitude as it may have made, as they may make it seem. I can absolutely appreciate that. That is something that you should argue to the judge that you'll be arguing bond in front of. Uh, anytime before February the 21st, it's going to be in courtroom 103 in front of Judge Langford, okay? And you can talk to Judge Langford about the bond.